Hardy here and in today's video we're going to be going over the all new 2020 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro and the 2020 Chevy 1500 Trail Boss L. T. So, as always, we're going to do a quick walk around on both vehicles, then we are going to decide which one is the best route to go. A huge shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray for providing us with the TRD Pro, and then Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray for providing us with the Chevy Trail Boss. There's going to be a link to the inventory of the Chevy dealership and the Toyota dealership in the description below. And also, if you want to see driving impressions, I'll include a link to a review on the Tundra and a link to a review on the Trail Boss. Let's get into it. Let's go into the hoods of both the trucks, starting with the Tundra TRD Pro. So we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 V8 that goes through a six-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs 381 horsepower, 401 foot-pounds of torque, fuel economy 13 around town, 17 on the highway. Now onto the Trail Boss. Nachi aspirated 5.3 liter V8, 10 speed automatic, fuel economy 16 around town, 21 on the highway, power outputs are 355 horsepower, and then 383 foot pounds of torque. Now let's go over things on the front ends of both the trucks again, starting with the TRD Pro. So we have that massive hood scoop up front, and then you've got full LED lights here with the little LED accent lights that go around, rigid fog lights with the Tundra TRD Pro, and then you can see a little sensor there for the adaptive cruise control, and then the tow hooks are hidden there at the very bottom of the Tundra, but just massive overall on the front end. Now, onto the Trail Boss. You can see that, well, nothing fancy happening with the hood. You've got Chevy's signature LED lights, red tow hooks, regular fog lights. It says Z71 there on the front. But yeah, the front end on the Tundra definitely looks way more massive than what is on the Chevy. Let's go over things on the side here of the Trail Boss and the TRD Pro. So, 18 inch rims on 275 millimeter tires there and on the Trail Boss as well. But notice the difference in the actual tires themselves. You can see these tires on the Trail Boss are way more aggressive than what is on the Tundra. So these will definitely do better on the off-road. Now you do get BBS wheels on the Tundra, which definitely, in my opinion, just look a little bit nicer. Fox-tuned shocks on the Tundra. Now you still get shocks on the Trail Boss and you get a two inch lift on the front end. So you can see the front end there versus there, but I mean, they're both really high, so they're solid on that part. Now, the rest of the elements on the side, you can see the mirrors both here, and then side steps here on the TRD Pro, no side steps on the Chevy, and well, let's head out in the back. Here is our key fob for the TRD Pro. Now, you have two functions, or so it seems. If you lock it and then hold down the lock function, that'll do the remote start, which it's different, but I mean, it works, and it sounds good. Just listen to that. And yes, I will get you guys a full on exhaust clip later, but when you're done with that, just hold it down again and then it'll shut the truck off. Now there's nothing fancy with the tailgate itself. It's just a regular tailgate. So you just have to let it go. And it's kind of like, kind of slow lowering. Now there is the bed liner itself. And then it says Tundra there on the back. And other than that, it's a super simplistic bed. Nothing crazy is happening. Now the tailgate itself, Lifting it up, it's relatively heavy, but it's easy to get in place. Here's the key fob for the Chevy. Now again, you've got your unlock, lock, and then remote start, and you actually have a tailgate drop down. So the remote start, you just have to hold it down, just kind of like on the Tundra. I kind of feel like the Tundra sounds a little bit better. But when you're done, just press that again. And then, I don't have to do anything. I just press that button and it drops right down. Now again, we've got a bed liner in this particular one. You can see all of that in Chevy logo at the back. Now we do get LED bed lights in here, which is pretty neat. But yeah, pretty simplistic. Now the tailgate, way lighter than what is on the Tundra. So easier to get into place. Now let's finish things up in the rear before I give you guys exhaust clips. So starting with the Tundra, it just has all the regular logos on the back there, but they are blacked out on the TRD Pro. Now you do get the dual outlet exhaust out of each side on the Tundra. And then you can see we've got some mud flaps in the back here, but yeah, pretty simple. And then the taillights themselves, not LEDs sadly, but it's okay. Now onto the Chevy, we do get LED taillights and you get all the regular badging for the Chevy LT since this is an LT Trail Boss. You get the squished little exhaust tips. And there is a little step there on the side, which is pretty neat because you can just do this and then it helps you getting up into the bed. Makes it a whole lot 
easier and well that's everything for the rear end before we uh well let's get the exhaust clips Coming to the rear of the Tundra, we have this red contrast of stitching against the black leather, which I think is a really nice little touch. Side steps will be very helpful in a moment, but first, lifting up the seat, you can see there's kind of like some, well, not really storage, but just a flat loading floor underneath the seat. Now the seats themselves, again, more of that black leather with the red stitching. Got some cup holders that pull out of that little area, and we are gonna step in. So step in height, it's really easy to get in here, and I'm about five foot 11, and I mean, I've got a decent amount of room. I've got a couple little charging state or a charging station. Some little pocket back here, and that's pretty much it for the Tundra. Now, popping out, it's pretty easy to get out of the Tundra. Now, coming over to the Chevy, well, things are a little bit different here. So, you've got the black leather, and you got the stitching through here, and some kind of like wood trim. Now, the seats are actually cloth in this particular one, even though it's an LT. But you've got a little storage behind, and then picking this up, you've got some extra storage underneath the seat. Now, getting in is a little bit more difficult. You gotta kinda use the little hand grab thing, and yep, still tons of headroom. Now the rest of the stuff is, on the back of the seat, there's a little map pocket, and then just down here, got a couple more charging stations. Still got some little cup holders, and that's all. Coming around to the front, it's got a keyless entry on the Tundra, so one touch to lock it and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle. Now the door panel here in the front will look pretty much identical to the rear with all the red stitching and all the little touches down here. Window controls are in this area, and then you get your door lock and unlock. Now here are the seats in the Tundra. It says TRD Pro on it. Again, more of that red stitching, full leather. And the seats are very comfortable in the Tundra. Power adjustments are on the side of them. Pedal layout's just down below. And then in this whole area, you've got a couple controls. You've got your, like your mirror adjustments, your lights. This is for the rear window. And then you've got your cargo light. Steering wheel itself is gonna be manually adjustable. And here's one more look before we head over to the Trail Boss. Coming over to the Trail Boss again, got keyless entry, so one touch to lock it and unlock it, just press that. Now the door panel here in the front looks identical to what's in the back on the Trail Boss, with the exception of just a couple little controls in this area and then the door lock and unlock. Now here are the seats in the front of this particular trail boss. Pretty comfortable, but sad that it's not leather. Power adjustments are on the side of the seats. You've got the pedals down below, parking brake right there. Light controls are in this little area, and then you've got a ton more controls over here. So you've got your auto for your four-wheel drive system. You've got the two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four-wheel low. And then you've got like your fog light, your cargo light, and then your drive modes with your tow mode. Steering wheel is manually adjustable, and there's one more look. Starting up the Tundra, I have to just pay from the brake, push the push start, and then it'll do a little graphic there and say Tundra on it. Now let's quickly look at the steering wheel itself. There's kind of a full view on it. Now I've got our controls that go to the center stack on the steering wheel. You've got your little pages button, and then you've got your sensor for the collision assistance, your lane departure assistance, phone controls on the other side, and then you like your voice commands. Black stitching on the steering wheel, and then it is kind of rougher leather around it. Light controls on that side, and then the other side is your windshield wiper controls. Now here in the center stack, RPMs are on the left side, over on the right side, you've got the speed, and then you've got that little kind of like somewhat configurable thing on the, well, I should say gauge cluster. It just shows you different bits of information, and wow. Okay, but this truck hasn't been driven, it only has 12 miles on it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the little center stack. Here's our center infotainment system, and there's your little backup camera. The trajectory lines do not turn with the steering wheel. But the rest of the infotainment system, I mean, the buttons and everything, the trim behind it feels pretty nice. Now just pressing stuff, the response time on it is, I mean, pretty good. The button response time is really good. You can do your phone projection on it. It's a pretty simple infotainment system overall. Now down below it, we've got our climate controls, and it is a dual zone climate in the Tundra, and I'm gonna turn off the heated seat because it's kind of warm today. But you can sink it, all that kind of stuff, pretty normal, and you do get heated seats, no air conditioned seats. Couple little charging stations down there. Got a singular cup holder there. 
the shifter for the six-speed automatic and it does say T or D on it if you forgot where you were driving. You can shift the gears yourself with that little motion. And then you got a couple more cup holders here and well, I've got a bunch of keys in here. Anyways, T or D Pro and then the center console itself. I mean, it's massive, tons of storage space. And then finishing things up, you got the glove box over in this area, got a couple tiers. And then again, you get more of that leather with the red stitching, which just looks really nice. Up top here, we got a little sunglass holder. And then we do have the controls for the sunroof. It is just a regular little sunroof and your light controls up here, just press little lights. Now, the cool thing is the window. So again, you guys remember there's that button and well, press that and you get blinding light, but it's the whole back that opens and closes, which I think is a neat little party trick and Every Toyota has it pretty much. Well, the bigger ones at least. And it is a lighter colored headliner. Well, let's start up the Chevy Trail Boss. All you have to do is press that. All the gauges will do a sweep and it's a really long sweep. But while it is doing that, we've got the steering wheel here in the Trail Boss itself. And there's a couple of controls on it. So you got your controls for the center stack, your Bluetooth phone controls. I like how they blacked out the Chevy bow tie there. Nice little touch. Cruise control on the other side, it does have a heated steering wheel. Got stitching and the leather around it is smoother than what's on the Tundra. Got the stock for the turn signal and the windshield wipers. Now here is the column shifter. That's so you can shift through the gears yourself with that 10 speed automatic. We've got RPMs on the one side and then you've got the speed on the other side, which in the little center stack right there, we can kind of scroll through a couple different menus on the trail boss. Just gives you different bits of vehicle information. The biggest takeaway from this is it does look a little bit more modern than what the Tundra has, even though the screen size is pretty similar. Here is the center infotainment system. And well, we're gonna go into reverse first. You got that little view right there and you can turn the steering wheel to turn the trajectory lines. Other than that, with the rest of the infotainment system, you got all these buttons down here that you can press. Response time on it is pretty good. I mean, it's similar to what's on the Tundra. Do get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with it, which I think is a neat little touch. Now, just below the infotainment system, got our analog controls for it that I showed you before. Again, dual zone climate in this, and we still get the heated seats in the Chevy. Now down here, we've got these gigantic blink switches, but hill descent control, stability control, got the hazard lights, the tailgate drop down, auto stop start, trailer brakes in this little area. And then you've got a couple little areas with charging. And then this is normally a power outlet, but this one doesn't have it. Now this one actually has the bench seat. So picking this up, it's another seat. And then there is a little storage thing under here. So you get storage on the bottom, get some storage on the top. You can lift this up for some extra storage. So. This one's a little bit more practical from like a seating standpoint, even though you gotta have uh, smaller legs. But finally, coming over to the glove box, opening up both of those, I mean, you can see it's normal size glove box and it's pretty good and that's all. Now, we don't have a lot happening up here. No sunroof. The rear window is fixed in the Chevy. Can't open or close that. And sun visors, but yeah, that's, that's all for up top. Now let's go over pricing on the two trucks. So the Chevy stickers for about $52,000 before any type of market adjustment and this TRD Pro stickers for about $55,000. So there's only a price difference of about $3,000. Now, if you added in the leather and the power sliding window, then this would probably be closer to like the 56, maybe $57,000 range. So if they were completely identical spec wise, they would, this one actually be a little bit more expensive. Now, with that taken into consideration, here are my thoughts overall on both of them. And wow, some people drive some loud cars, but this one has a little bit nicer on the tires. Now, definitely a huge plus for an off-road truck. Over onto the Tundra, I think the suspension's a little bit cooler with the Fox shocks and all that kind of stuff, but definitely the tires are lagging from an off-road perspective. I do like the fog lights a little bit more there. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Tundra technically has a little bit more tech than this particular Trail Boss, because, well, yeah, I mean, it's got a power sliding window, and this one does it. Now, with all that taken into consideration, which one would I go for? And, I mean, it'd be tough. I feel like the Tundra is a little bit more unique just with its styling. I don't see them all that often in the TRD Pros, whereas the Trail Bosses, I have seen quite a few more. But both of them, I think from a stylistic perspective, look really good from the front end. This looks a little bit better in the rear, whereas that one with the older school taillights doesn't. So if I were to pick a winner, I would pick the Tundra, believe it or not, 
with this 5.7 V8. Now, if this one had the 6.2, I would definitely give it the win, even though it'd be more money. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below, would you go for the Trail Boss or would you go for the Tundra and why? And I know I know all of you guys are gonna say reliability with the Tundra. Just let's let's forget about that argument for right now. Other other stuff. That is gonna sum things up for our video for today. And I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out again to the Toyota and Murray for providing us with this Tundra and to the Chevy and Murray for providing us with this Trail Boss. Again, link to their inventory and link to their inventory in the description below if you happen to be stopping for the first time please subscribe comment down below what you think and then i will see all of you in that next video